Uh, Jordi van Stappershoef in goal, and uh, Harfield, Harris and Rowe, the centre-backs, and uh, Glover and Jones, the wing-backs, Willard and Widrington in midfield, Josh Stokes behind Toledge and Kwame Thomas. Uh, right, all the shot, I've got kick-off, and they are... OK, they are kicking towards the most populated Dorking home end in the first half. Theo Widrington exchanges passes with uh, Harry's, goes forward to Kwame Thomas, he gets the flick on, but that's nice and easy for Dan Gallagher to deal with. But he couldn't keep the clean sheets Dorking needed. Here's the throw into the box, Rowe jumps highest, and it's going to come back in. There's a little flick. Oh! And it's that man, <laughs> Jason Pryor, with a near post flick. Jordi van Stappershoef unsighted and nowhere near it. And just eight minutes in, here at Meadowbank, the Wanderers are ahead. Talking Wanderers won. All the shot down nil. But uh, this one is started against form. Here's Joe Cook playing the ball inside. And he finds Seeger. Seeger out to the left to Pryor. Pryor holds it up and goes back to Jimmy Mewitt. Is he going to try an effort himself from the edge of the penalty area? He might, he does. And it's on target and it's plucked out of the air by Jordi van Stappershoef. But Dorkin almost doing an order shot town there and scoring two goals in a minute. United Bromley, we scored a sort of similar moment to um, today. So a long way to go yet and I'm sure order shot will grow into this. Game yeah, goes they're on. playing it around the final third at the minute. Now Glover finds Stokes, tries an early ball into Toledge and gets that wrong, but he battles back onto it and wins it back. Now the ball breaks free. Stokes tries to pass into Toledge. Toledge's shot is blocked. Brilliant recovery by Fuller. Can only find Glover. Glover will feed Harfield. One touch and in comes the cross. That's headed up and away from Fuller again. The left-hand side, and that would aimed in Bobby Joe Taylor's direction, but similar sort of tactic again, and one that served Wanderers quite well over the seasons really where they dropped that ball in over that far side here's Bobby Joe Taylor twisting and turning on the right hand side can he get across and he can to the far post Pryor heads it across and there's a header on target from Mewitt is well saved by Jordi van Stappershoef brilliant in the making from Wanderers for Pryor but cut out by the chest of Harfield he volleys it inside and that will go straight to Bobby Joe Taylor but poor touch from him Aaron Jones picks it up and releases Tolage although it comes off the heel of Tolage he has to go back and collect tries a shot deflection past the far post I think Aldershot might have won their first corner of the afternoon lurking behind him Willard retrieves the ball quickly and gives it back to Rowe Rowe to Aaron Jones who touches it into the path of Willard Willard advancing now tries the ball out to Stokes who goes down on the edge of the penalty area and the linesman has flagged for the push on Josh Stokes and the assistant referee has given I believe a penalty for the shots Stokes wandered towards the ball he's not the sort to be fair James to go throwing himself down Ian Harris will step up left footed Harrison male bouncing from side to side Harris sends him the wrong way scores Calmly retrieves the ball from the back of the net and Josh Stokes is the most excited, if you like, of the shots players. And James, you probably feared it and now it's happened. Dorkin won. All the shot down one. Manus onto the loose ball. Exchanges passes with Fuller. Good ball inside to Mewitt. He's got the ball in a pocket of space. Advancing to the edge of the penalty area. Tries a shot. Massive deflection on it, massive and deflection in it goes. Rob. Jimmy Mewitt scores on his return to the Wanderers. In truth, it's the fourth chance in five minutes. Dorking Wanderers two, Aldershot Town one. So Mewitt picking the ball up in space, advancing towards the end, edge of the penalty area, decided to have a shot. That shot took a deflection off a shot's defender. I think it might have been Key and Harry's. Totally wrong-footed, Jordi van Stappershoef gather it, but manages to clear it as far as Fuller. Fuller actually, up towards um, halfway. Sorry, Rob, it's actually Jimmy Mewitt has gone off there. That was his last yeah. involvement in the game. Pryor touches the ball into the path of Fuller. He goes down the right-hand side. <laughs> Header from Ottaway, seconds after coming on. Cannons back off the crossbar. Harry's touches it back to Harfield. A 21-year-old right winger 
put an absolutely brilliant ball in for Harry Ottawa, who's glanced it again, and it's hit the crossbar and come flying out with his first touch. Away to our left in front of the 900 or so shots fans. Harfield takes the throw to Tolage. Edge of the penalty area, back to goal. Quickly changes direction, brings Gallagher with him. Uh, looks to play a little ball into Stokes. Stokes looks to give it back to him. Tolage in the penalty area, thought about going down. Goes out wide, tries to clip the cross in. Can't. It comes off deflection and finds Stokes. Stokes clips a ball in. Barham gets a header down on target, but it's easy. Uh, bounce and a half volley catch for Harrison Mayle who quite rightly goes down and wastes a few seconds. 85 and a half minutes gone, Dorking two, shots one. It won't be yours, OK, right. all right, we'll come to that. We'll wait until full time for that. Um, but here's Ottawa bursting onto ball in the penalty area. Shoots, it's saved, he's trying to retrieve his own ball. Squares it to Seeger. Again by Pryor, and this time Pybus should get onto it. He hooks it forward, Goalkeepers looking out here, for Rob. McManus. Uh, Van Stappershoef is still out of his area and there is the final whistle. Dorking Wanderers have done it. A first ever victory against the shots and deservedly so too. Final score here at Meadowbank. Dorking Wanderers 2, Aldershot Town 1.